Hi everyone, our next control flow activity is for each loop activity. It defines the repetitive control flow in our pipeline and it iterates over a collection and execute a specified activity in a loop. Like we have looping structure in other um, programming languages, so it works the similar way. So let's see how we can implement this in Azure Data Factory. Let's have a quick recap what we have done earlier. Uh, we have uh, worked on the get metadata control flow activity, then wait, filter, and if condition. Get metadata activity generally retrieve all the metadata of the files in a folder, like child name, um, created date, last modified date, file type, all this metadata information it used to retrieve. Then wait activity. Wait activity generally wait the uh, wait the wait for the execution for the time specific time which we have defined in the properties. Then filter activity, filter activity it filters the input array based on a particular filter condition. Then if condition, in the if condition, it also executes on a particular expression or condition and it returns true or false. And on true return, it used to perform some activity and on false return, it used to perform some activity. This is how we have worked in the previous control flow activities. Now we will implement the for each loop. So to implement the for each loop, we can uh, drag the for each loop activity from iterate and conditional. As we have already retrieving some files using the get metadata and uh, filtering those files using the person uh, condition and those files, let's try to upload them into the database. I will show you what all files we have. In the storage account, we are storing also a lot many CSV files and from these files, through the filter condition, we are filtering only the person data. So here you can see we have three person files, person, person 2018, person 2019. So we will loop these three files and load them into the database. So let me um, connect this for each loop activity after filter condition. Because whatever files will be filtered after this filter activity, those files we are going to iterate. So in the for each loop, let me into the settings. Here we can give some name, any description, then in settings we can give some uh, input. So it will work on the output of the filter activity. Then inside this for each loop, we'll define an activity. So let's do one thing. Let's copy the files, the person data, to the database. So I am going to perform the copy activity and for this copy activity I will give a name. Source. Source is the same folder which we are using in the get metadata. So the, our source data set is the same data set that is the data set CSV. Here we can give a wildcard file path. 
and in the wildcard file path we can give the file path name this is a dynamic file path dot name so what all input we will get from the for each loop each item will be a file will be an input file for this copy activity and let's do the sync data set configuration in the sync database data set let's uh, select the sql database I already have a database here so we'll try to load the data into this table I have created I have already created this table let's see if it is there any data in this there is no data in this we will load the file into this table Then we'll select the subscription. Server name. Database. All the authentication part will provide here. Test the connection. Successful. Create. Okay, our sync data source is connected. Now we'll select the table to which we are going to load the data. Then the mapping of the columns. Here, let's add some mappings. The columns from person table, person CSV file, then to the destination and type integers. New mapping. Let me show you what all data we have. Here you can see we have person ID, name, last modified type and the data in the person CSV we have data for 2017 till the ID 5. In the person 2018 we have data for 2018. In the person 19 we have data for 2019 so these are the three columns name then one more column is there last modified name data type is string last modified it is state time Okay, so our copy date copy activity configuration is completed. Let's validate this. The pipeline is validated. Let's publish the changes. Okay, the changes are published. So before executing this pipeline, I will once again check uh, if uh, is there any data in the table so as you can see there is no data so now we'll debug the pipeline the pipeline execution is started so you can see here the get metadata is completed then wait 
demo is started i will hit the refresh button so you can see all these activities are started as we have three files inside my storage so there are three copy activities are started and it is successful the forage demo is going on let me refresh the execution list so it is successful okay let's check the data in the database if the data is inserted okay we can see here the data is inserted for uh, the year 2018 2019 2017 so all these files are loaded so this is how the forage loop activity works so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel in the next video we'll work on few more uh, control flow activities then we'll move to the data flow uh, data flow tra transformation so thank you for watching this video